Hi, this is Derek with Coastal. Uh, this is going to be part of uh, many videos. This is for our tips um, and maintenance of a coastal board. Um, today, I'm going to do the uh, the squeaky noise that you might be hearing from your uh, from your board when you're turning or carving. That is coming from the trucks, the Revenge trucks that come on your board. Um, because uh, Revenge is a little bit different than your standard traditional truck, um, the bushing inside is fairly large and there's a, lar a lot amount of uh, urethane that's rubbing on the inside um, part of the truck. Um, it's an easy fix. Um, all you're going to need is a skate tool and a silicone type uh, uh, lubricant. Uh, right here I have WD-40. It's a new stuff that uh, we've been using. It's water resistant and doesn't collect dust, which is nice. This isn't normal WD-40, so don't get that confused. This is a new stuff from them. So you should be able to pick this up almost anywhere. Um, if you don't have it, um, you can get any type of uh, silicone type uh, lubricant and that'll work just fine. But today I'm going to be using the WD-40 um, water resistant silicone lubricant. Um, so start with your skate tool. You're going to remove the kingpin nut on the truck. Take that off. You can take the hanger off, just pop it off. And be careful with inside the hanger, there is a metal washer, and then there's a plastic one on top. You can keep them in there, but if they fall out, make sure you don't lose them. Um, just set that aside for right now. And now you have access to the bushing. Just go ahead and pop it out. And there you go. So what are you gonna do? You can also, it might be a little dirty or something like that. You can take a rag and wash it off or clean it up if you want before you apply the lubricant. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. Um, go ahead and take the uh, lubricant and just kind of spray a little bit all around the bushing and if you spray too much it's all right just take your finger and kind of get it all over the, the, uh, the bushing um, and all the little grooves and the holes on the inside just make sure you get it all set that right there on the side what you're also going to do is spray the inside cavity of the base plate just a little bit you don't need that much and then on the hanger, when you flip this upside down, make sure you don't lose the washers that are inside. There you go. You're going to take the bushing, stick it in, take the hanger, put it back on. If the washers did fall out, make sure you put the plastic one down first, and then the metal one goes down sec uh, uh, on top. Take your kingpin nut, put that back on. Now when you put the nut back on, make sure there's one to two threads showing. Um, you might be able to push it to three threads, but what you want to make sure to make sure uh, to, to, that it's installed correctly or put back on correctly is you're going to push down on the wheel until it stops, release, and make sure it bounces back to center. If it doesn't back, bounce back to center, it gets stuck anywhere, you're just going to take it and loosen it just a tiny bit. It doesn't need that much. And then just check it again, make sure the truck is bouncing back to center, and you're good to go. And that sound will be gone. The other sound that you may be hearing when you're riding, if it's not a squeaking sound, is a rattling sound. That could be coming from your uh, mounting hardware, which are the four screws and nuts that you see that hold the trucks or the board. Those, after a while, because it's just wood, it can loosen up just a little bit. So you want to make sure um, you can use your skate tool to fix that. Just make sure that all these nuts and uh, bolts are tight all the way around. And that should get rid of the uh, rattling sound that you may be hearing as well. And um, so that's that. That's how you fix the squeaking sound and a possible rattling sound that you may be hearing when you're riding your board. Um, check back for more videos and hope this helps out. If not, give us a call, shoot us an email, or catch us on our live chat on our website. And uh, we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.